Hello, good day everyone. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to form a quadratic equation from another quadratic equation. So this is what we have. We are given that if alpha and beta are the quadratic roots of this quadratic equation, we are asked to form another quadratic equation whose roots are 1 over alpha and 1 over beta. So I told you, before you start, you need to find the sum and the product of that quadratic equation. So we have alpha plus beta as sum of the roots to be equal to negative b over a. And negative b, b is the coefficient of the middle term, which we have here as 4. So we have negative 4 over a is the leading coefficient, which we have here as 2. Altogether, if you divide, you get negative 2. Then for the product, we have alpha times beta, and this is equal to c over a. And c is the constant, which we have as 1, divided by a, and a is the leading coefficient, which is 2. So now you can see the sum of root is negative 2, while the product of root is 1 over 2. So we can write this to our side. We have the sum to be equal to negative 2, and the product to be equal to 1 over 2. So now to form another quadratic equation whose roots are this, we need this formula. x squared minus sum of roots times x, then plus the product of roots equals 0. But the roots, we are referring to these two other roots. So we can say x squared minus sum of roots, meaning we should add the two roots together. We have 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta times x plus the product, meaning to multiply them together. We have 1 over alpha times 1 over beta, and the whole of this equal to 0. Let's further simplify. This is x squared minus. If you add these two together, you are going to get the LCM to be alpha beta. Alpha times 1 is alpha. Beta times 1 is beta. All multiplied by x. Plus 1 times 1 is 1. Alpha times beta is alpha beta. The whole of this equal to 0. But we have alpha plus beta to be equal to negative 2, and alpha times beta to be equal to 1 over 2. Hence, we can say this is x squared minus alpha plus beta is negative 2, divided by 1 over 2, all times x, plus. Then 1 over the product, we have 1 over the product is also 1 over 2 all equal to zero. Now let's simplify. This is from here. You can see we have x squared minus, and this minus will transform it to positive sign. Two divided by one over two is the same thing as saying two times two is four. So we have four. And the four is going to multiply x. So we have x here. Then plus 1 over 1 over 2 is like taking the reciprocal of this 1 over 2 and it becomes 2 and the whole of this equal to 0 and hence this is our new quadratic equation whose roots are 1 over alpha and 1 over beta and this is all I have for you today thank you for watching and do have a nice day